Hello. How is it going, everybody? Swell. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna draw some stuff and then I'm gonna animate it and hopefully take around an hour. Though I've not been taking an hour lately and that's okay. And yep. Hello, Joel Cliff. How's it going? Thanks for coming. I don't know if I know you. If I know you, tell me who you are, because then I'll know who you are. But if I don't know you, that's cool too. Well, Gary, how you doing? What's Joel Cliff? That's a, that's a name. All right. Good old, old, old handle. How does this work? This works with me doing stuff. I'm drawing all, you know, it'll be revealed what I'm drawing. I'll keep it a secret until, until it reveals itself. You'll see. I'm glad this is your first Twitch. Thanks for for making this your first one. That's fun. Uh, how does it work? I don't know. You sit there and you watch and you, you write some things if you feel like it and if you don't then you don't and you can ask me questions if you like and I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what this and my OnlyFans is for. It's the, uh, the cherry popping. If you're not subscribed to my OnlyFans, you can you can do that. It's three ninety nine a month. That's what I'm worth. You get you get everything for three ninety nine a month. Nothing's too far, buddy. <laughs> oh, just you wait. It'll be less fun as time goes on. So if it's not apparent, I'm drawing a fish.
something funny with his pants. Let's see if I can pull it off. Go to the go to the movie theater lately. See any good any good stuff? What is going on with movies these days? Are things like being released? Is that like a like a thing? Like what's like the general thing that is happening? Does anyone know? <laughs> I saw a thing this morning that was saying that um, music venues are um, now not allowed to do streaming anymore. I, I looked into it a little further and I suppose that the argument that was made compared to like the film industry, which is you know going strong, is that the film industry has like the capacity to do like testing, um, whereas the music industry, because of the way it is, that just doesn't. And um, yeah, they're just fucking over all those musicians who just and venues. Good times. COVID testing, yes. Well, I wonder how that's going to turn. Uh, because I guess like the um, musicians are like working together at a venue. And so, um, they couldn't, um, sorry, I'm trying to do two things at once. They couldn't, uh, like claim that they're being as careful as they possibly could be because like they don't have the, the resources or capacity to do like the same rapid testing that the, um, uh, that the film industry does. And so like basically the film industry is allowed to continue just doing as it's doing and just continue testing. Whereas the um, music industry is not even allowed to do like streaming anymore. Which, you know, kind of just feels like these rules are for these people and these rules are for these people. isn't the best. Yeah. Do you know what's happening in the performing arts world these days? Is, is there like, <laughs> is that a thing anymore? Dickle, yeah. Well, that's what I thought. Yeah, outside's only good though when, when you get the weather for it. 
obviously. Yeah, that's what I saw on like one of the thumbnails. Like someone was performing at the horseshoe, and they had like plexiglass between. They like all in plexiglass boxes. What an age we live in. Hey. I don't know. I mean, I guess you could just sell less seats, but I don't know if they'll like let the performers like be near each other. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've been. It's very nice. I guess it would just cost a, a lot more, though. Because if you have, like, way more or way less capacity for seating and stuff, that's just what you'd have to do. Just color him. Then I'll work on some of that stuff later. Okay. Let's color this guy. Well, he's a fish, so green. Yeah, sketch this one right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put it up on Instagram later. Nope, not that green. like a fish who's gonna blow something up because he's got the explosives demolition fish he's also kind of a fisherman because he's got the German hat, which is going to make smaller. Oh, yeah, there. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gasoline.
that be this color? Yeah, but dark. Nope. Dark. Go. Kind of looks frog like too. Make his foot bigger. OG Illustrator. Yes, yes. Have I told you why I use such an old version of Illustrator? I feel like I explain it a lot on these streams, but if you haven't heard, I'll tell you my jam. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Pitrifov? All right, um, basically this tool that I use, the brush tool, this one, over the years they like slowly botched it to the point that like on the newer versions it, it doesn't work very well at all. Um, which is a bummer to me because I use it a lot. I use it really specifically and it doesn't do what it does. It doesn't like load properly and, and it like lags and it's like, they just made it so crappy and I'm like so bummed that I'm stuck using a very old version of Illustrator, but it's the only one that actually still supports this one tool that is like my primary tool that I use. So I'm probably like one of the only people who still uses this really old version of Illustrator, but, but here I am using it, so. <laughs> yeah. Do you not like the new Illustrator? Is it riddled with problems of some kind? So I was cooking some chicken earlier. And um, it was like frozen. I cut it into little pieces a couple weeks ago because it was too much to use at that time. And so I was like, you know, I was gonna use this today and I was gonna unfreeze it. And I left it on the counter for a good couple hours and it looked like it was pretty thought out. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna throw this into a pan and kind of just get this going. And, uh, and then I did. And then it was like this big stack and it was, you know, frozen in the middle. And I was like, well, no matter, I'll just use a wooden spoon and chop it downward. And I did, uh, but it wouldn't break or cut. And so I just kept doing it and kept pushing it down. And then it went flying into me, into my shirt. And I got raw chicken all over me. Yeah, it's the highlight of my day. How's your day going? Yeah. But then I caught it and then I threw it back in the pan. And then I washed my shirt. Mm hmm. I guess these things happen sometimes. Life, life hits you hard when you don't expect it. And it takes all it can get. And it fills your shirt with chicken. 
just just grabs and, and never keeps, never lets up. Just chicken all over everyone's shirts. What a sad disastrophe. It's a disaster and a catastrophe mixed in one. Disastrophe. That's right, buddy. This is the way it goes. Alrighty. Just gonna make this red. What does red do? Is this whole process kind of like your version of running illustration drills? Um, drill meaning like something I can just sort of do to make, to like make myself faster kind of thing. Like practice makes perfect kind of dealy. I guess so. Yeah, it was sort of sort of sort of started off as like let's see if I can do like speed animation, which like isn't really like a thing usually. So I was kind of just curious to see how fast I could do a thing. Um, but then in that kind of process, I wound up really enjoying making these weird things and just kind of doing these little monsters and stuff. And um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those Super Mario speedruns are, those are something. They're wild. Can't believe folks can move that fast. Back in time, downgrade to Illustrator 2010. Skip level five to 10. Why? All right, I think everything's in place that I want it to be. I'm gonna add details now. Let's bring my tablet back up here. Um, then I'll get grouping on things. And then I can bring everything over to um, After Effects. This one's going pretty quick, I think. We got 625. No, it is not. Oh, well, I guess it's going okay. Still lots to be done. What did I have? I had his gills on his chest. I like that idea. Mm-hmm. 
little bit of hardware. Let's see this illustration. Yeah, I'm using tablet uh, and I use a mouse. Kind of use them interchangeably. Um, you'll need a computer that's good enough to run After Effects, I suppose. I'm going to be using After Effects in a minute. Um, I don't really know the specs on my computer. Um, it's not so much stuff I know about, but any tablet will do. I was talking earlier about how software-wise I like to use this version of Illustrator. Um, but it's like my personal preference. I don't know if anyone else would like find that kind of useful. It'd be nice if other people did, and then we can like create a demand from Adobe. Be like, hey, fix that tool, you dirty SOBs. And then they'll do it, because there'll be like pressure on them. That'd be fun. He is a sneaky boy. Also, hey, Mikhail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How are you adding shapes to using the brush tool? Is that a hotkey? What do you mean shapes? You mean like this when I switch over? That's uh, shift X. Is that what you're talking about? Come in, why? Better not fuck my jam up. What does that do? Do you use that a lot? Is that how you typically will draw? Ah, oh, interesting. I've never needed it. I'm not a precise dude. <laughs> Uh, 
that. This, 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 that should be good. This needs to be grouped. Group this up. Boom. Grouped. Mm -hmm. uh, this, I think, we'll just group all in one. I think that makes sense. I hope this doesn't come bite me in the bottom in the future. There. What do we got? Uh, helps with the geometric stuff. Yeah, that's your jam. I'm never really doing the, too much of the geometric stuff these days. But it's good to know that, that that exists anyway. I didn't know about that. There's loads I don't know about Illustrator. I'm like terrible with this program. I know how to use like a couple of things and I can use them like okay, but um, I never learned to like use Illustrator like properly. I never had like proper training. Thanks, OCAD. Oh wait, I teach there. Thanks, OCAD. Say it even louder. Thanks, for, thanks for nothing. <laughs> Blob brush. This is the two point oval. I don't know if that's a blob brush or not. All right, well, we got this. This needs to be on its own group. Good. Send that stuff back. Back to the kitchen. No one wants frog's legs. We already told them that, but they did not listen. I'm going to get some lines going in his hat. Not dirty enough looking. I was hoping he'd be like good and like slobby looking. You guys think that if I added some drool to him, it's gonna like add his like sloppiness? Yes. Okay. Can do. One drool coming up. Hey, where's his bottom teeth? Yo. What the heck? I think that's what's missing. Add that crazy element. Oops. Hello. Okay, there it is. And a little, a little dash of beauty in the pupil. Okay, I think we're good. Um, I'm going to now move this over to After Effects once I just split things up. Oh, I guess his body is not grouped yet. I think I could probably just group the whole kit and caboodle, as they say. Um, I guess his face isn't either. Okay, that's okay. Um, I'm enjoying him. He's a good guy. I'm move my tablet out of the way. Excuse me. Uh, I think this is ears. I'm not even going to do an eye mask on this guy because I don't want him to blink. I just want him to be mesmerized with his remote control. Uh, I do want to have his mouth with a bit of flexibility though, because I want to be able to animate his mouth a little bit. One of the tricks uh, in After Effects is if you intend to uh, have it moving, it needs to be on a separate layer. So that's always something to keep in mind when you're doing After Effects stuff. 
Uh, also, don't do what I do here. Have his head be finished, you know, like that way you have the flexibility to move that hat around underneath the hat. Um, this, good, 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 good. Okay, you know what? He's going to have this loose, but he's going to have one that is just a bundle as well. Does he have a name? That's an audience problem. It's not a me problem. Michael, what's his name? You guys feel free to jump on a bandwagon and give some names for this guy. Grubbo. Grubbo St. Higgins Worth. Julio. Grubbo. I'm feeling Grubbo. I'm feeling that. T and Toad. Not bad. Not bad. Picture box. Whoops. I'm just going overboard at this point. It's unnecessary. I'm making my life complicated for myself. Complicated or awesome? Both. Boom. Dynamite stack. Loose one, bomb. All right. Hooey. Okay. Uh, oh, right. I forgot to do that. It's like the thing I was like looking forward to the most. That's the way it always goes, isn't it? Mm hmm. Let's just get my tablet back here real quickly. We've got 639. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're okay. We're okay. It's gonna be a lot of fun to do. Maybe one, one point four on that one. All right, cool. Um, this is gonna be like just on his back. It's gonna be like existing there. Suppose that makes whatever some amount of sense. Sure, why not? Whatever. It's gonna be what it is. doesn't work like that anymore at all which is my problem with it okay let's go here so it's gonna be hat pupil pupil mouth head ear ear arm barrel body arm 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 and the controller uh, leg 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 and the web thing Dynamite bomb, dynamite firework, that thing, the plunger, and that, and the cord. Okay, that should do her. She need no layers for us. Okay, hat. Left pupil, right pupil, mouth, head, oops, left ear, right ear. Arm, barrel, 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 barrel. How do you spell barrel? No big deal. It is just to give me a reference. Body, uh, right arm, upper, right arm, lower, barrel. You got it. B R I L. And I accidentally put a semicolon at the end. Cool. Uh, And right hand and dynamite, dynamite pack, dynamite single bomb. 
Iowa. Alright. Left leg upper. Left leg lower. Left foot. Left fin. Fint. Left fin. Uh, right leg upper. Right leg lower. Right foot. Right fin. And core. And I think this stuff. Oh no, I guess that can exist in both. Okay, no, we're good. So we do this, pop that over there, send it home. I like him. He's weird. His legs are gonna bend the wrong way. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good time. All like this. You know what I mean? It's a very clear example of what I just did there. Um, I'm not sure about that. That's getting kind of weird uh, there. Okay. No matter. Let's put things onto their layers that they need to be on. Mm -hmm. Oh, his head is still not. change the order to make that work better. Cool. And dynamite pack. Dynamite single. Firework. Um. And oh, hello. Ah, thank you for that noticing of that thing. You are correct. It is because it did not wind up on the correct layer. Or this was not grouped before. There you go. Thanks, Gary. Got my back. Boom. Boom, buddy. Yup. That's gonna go right there. Let's go. As is those. And this. Like that. Cool. I don't know if this is going to work out, this thing. It's going to be a fin between his leg. I have no idea if that's going to look okay. But I always find on this stream I do something weird that I have never done before. And so um, we're just going to give it a whirl. Let's see how it do. Cord right there, right fin, hello. Yes, good, okay. Uh, and now we have these two. Enter. Ah, uh, what do we have? What is this? What are you still showing me? What is that? Oh, this. Okay. What do we got? All good? Boom. What's here? Nothing. Layer one. Beautiful. Make them a wee bit bigger. Cool. All right. We are going to move to After Effects. These colors are conflicting oddly. I'm not crazy about that. Um, 
Okay. We can leave with that. Or we can go the other way. Go darker. Let me see darker. Yeah, I'm right with that. Let's see that. Okay. Cool. Let's hoppity hop over to After Effects. Explosive fish. Grubbo. TN toad. Good, good stuff. All right. Cool, 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 cool. There you go. All righty. Let's hop into it. It's rigging time. We're going to be using a duvet rig on his arm and his leg, legs, on one arm, and then on the other arm he's going to have um, puppet puppet pins rig. Basically, the rigging is the process of adding bones into a character. swing from the top because it's all assumed to be from his belt hanging from his belt doesn't have a belt but but we'll use our imagination by the way this is my my tenth character I'm happy with on these streams it's not my tenth character but I did some prior that didn't really fit the same sort of look in the same series. So, uh, oh, sorry, this guy is number 11. Yesterday was number 10. So well, that's cool. Doing 10 of something is always a, an exciting jam. Do you know? Cool, 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 cool. What is this? All right, here we go. Let's put a puppet ring into this. It's gonna go like this. One, two, and three. And get my rigging set up up here. Pins to nose. Boom, 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 boom. Create that IK. Looks good. I'm gonna parent this barrel to here or maybe to here. Let's see what happens with that. Oh, that's interesting. Is where's it parented to? It's parented to this, yeah? Huh. I'm into that. I'm into the way that that moves. Okay, gotta be subtle with it so I don't get that happening. But there are ways around that as well, which I might look into. Here we go. Doing this. Going to put an auto rig into that. Just like this. Looks like this. All right. I'm curious what it looks like from this side. Hmm. What do you guys vote on? I had initially intended this way. Is it too weird?
cast your votes. Tell me what you think. While I do this. Not too weird? Do it. You got it. You got it, you guys. Bend wrong way, bend wrong way. All right. That was the original intention, so we're gonna ride it out. This is gonna go to his left leg lower. This is gonna go to his also left leg lower. And this is gonna go to his left leg upper. And then I'm gonna reposition them like so. I have no idea if this will work. This is the part I was saying I, I didn't know if it's gonna look totally bizarre or not. But the idea was to give him like a little flappy fin in between. I wonder if I went too big with it. I might be able to shrink it. Might be weird. Let me try to shrink it. Oh, scale. Oh, hey, look at that. Okay. What do you guys think? A little fin? A little fin fin? No, it's, it's, doing, it's doing a thing. I don't know. It's something. All right. Let's do it again here. One, two, three. Okay. These two. See you, Michael. Have a good day. Thanks for popping by. Nice to have you. Shrink this one down too. Tighten up that fin. I don't know if that's it's so weird looking. I want to ride it out. I'm gonna see how it goes. Let's see if that doable one walk cycle gets here. But hey, I like to do weird stuff on the stream, so let's just go for it. Um, this is going to go to his body. Cool. And all these things are going to be attached to his body too. All this. Boom. Let's give it some arrangement. Look okay. Definitely looks like he's gonna blow something up. All right, cool. Bomb here, this to his body. What do we got? Everything's looking good. Let's get that cord working. I don't think I need too much. I might throw an IK rig into this just to see how it goes. Let's see, thins to the nose. Okay, the IK. That should be okay, actually. So this is gonna go to his body. Oops. Body, and this one's gonna go to his hand, his right hand. Where is that? Right leg. Oh, I'm blind. Come on, right hand, there it is, cool. Which gives us that. Sorry. Oh, I forgot to put a rig into this. Okay. Uh, hand, lower, upper, and do an auto rig. Yep, that's working good. Okay. And let's make his eyes actually looking at that controller. He's getting ready to blow something up. What do we got? Seven o'clock. Okay, that's good. Walk cycle shouldn't take more than 15, 20. And our rig is done. Our 
quite like it. It's working good. What is this here? This is that. So this is going to be to the hand it already is. So we're just going to lock it up. This here. I'm going to parent it to the body just for safety's sake. As well as this too. Okay. Boom. What would happen if I did this with that weird fin thing? No. Let's make it weird. I'm going weird. All right, there's my rig. Here we go. He's called, what is he called? Grubbo. This is rig. And we're going to copy that. We're going to go Grubbo. Walk. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put things on everyone. Probably won't need all of it, but see how it do. Cool. What length is this? Six minutes. I don't need six minutes. Let me just do one minute. Cool, and I'm gonna go to my one second mark, because that's how long my walk cycle is gonna be, and there we go. Oh, right, totally forgot. I have to pose him in a walking pose first. so weirdly with these weird legs. All right. Let's do a more simple walk on that. Oh, whoops, sorry. Put it here. There. I think I'll tilt him a little bit there. Which should give us this. Okay, and then our six frame mark. Eighteen frame. Pop this up. Then copy these. I want to lead them that way. Gives us this. A little weird, but I'm not hating it yet. This is gonna come down quicker. that weird shakiness. Let's see here.
<laughs> a little limp. Yeah. Trying not to do a limp too much. <laughs> Balance is a little bit off though. Just pop him forward a bit. I'm not sure starting him like this is the best idea. These are really weird legs to work with. Super weird. Okay. As long as my rig isn't maxing out at any point. Uh, it's gonna help it along a little. Get my left leg upper. Kind of move it forward. Well, is my right leg upper? Cool. Um, this needs to come up more, and we're almost there. Put a little bit of an arc in there, as well as in here. Okay, let's see what we get. Almost. Get a little bendy bend in this one. When it's coming up. Ooh. tattooed on somebody no I've had requests sort of for it before but it's never kind of panned out usually what people kind of like ask for it's like more traditional kind of tattoo stuff and not really this stuff that I kind of do and I've always kind of found it a bit like I don't know it's like an odd request because it's like oh it's just not really kind of the thing that I that I that I do or that I like to do really so uh, no, I mean, but hey, if someone wanted to get something on them, um, I'd be flattered that they'd want my stuff on their body forever. But, um, yeah. My art as my art, but a tattoo. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's something someone would want, really. I guess somebody, maybe somewhere, some place would want it, but why Gary, want a tattoo? Oh, I don't know. I don't really know any tattoo artists even. What do you want to get? You want to get this fish guy tattooed on your chest? The whole thing? We can arrange for that. Hell, I'd pay for it. Should do it. It's a timeless look. Truly. You'll never regret it. Forever you'll be like, 
Good choice. Never will come a time where you say, I kind of wish I didn't do that. Forever will be, this was the right way. <laughs> this was the, the, the best thing I, the best choice I could have made. Elliot, you're talking me into it. No. I don't know if I would ever get a tattoo. Not about this. Just not something I really care about. I think that's really what it comes down to. I kind of like the idea of it. <laughs> Matty Matheson. I suppose he'd get a tattoo of a lot of things. What do we got? 708. Oh, right. I forgot to do that. We got here. This hat is moving too much for my tastes. All right, I'm okay with most of the things that are happening here. Um, this here is moving from a weird place. That's why I started over here. Let's bring that back over there. What else we got? I think this could also be starting here. Mm -hmm. Does your body have any rotation to it? Does right? Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, cool. Now I'm gonna do like offset stuff to it. So basically, I'm just gonna copy all the keyframes that I have here, make a copy of the entire set, and then um, move things over slightly to basically add some nice bounciness to the animation itself. Ready, paste it to those frames. Let do it, do its magic thing. Mm -hmm. So now I have two keyframe sets to work with. So when I slide them around, my loop will be intact. I think I'm going to start just with his body motion and just pop those rotation frames over a couple of frames and maybe the position one over by one. And we'll already see a little bit of a Kind of that magic happening a little. As long as it doesn't interrupt the motion of the feet too much. Okay, we're good. Next, I'm going to just work on these like weird little fireworky things. Let me pop this one over a little more. Mm -hmm. Then this one as well. And that bomb. I'll leave it as is. I wonder if this one needs to be below. Maybe that's why it's irking me. This will have a really nice offset to it. 
that there and then put this here. And probably even make that even bouncier. this to go the other way so let's try this oh, I don't know how I feel about that now that I see it hmm. let's try that okay um TNT box let's try that is it moving even it's moving a little bit. Did that math thing work out? It doesn't look like it, right? It doesn't look like it's getting any bigger. I suppose it is. Subtle. Real subtle. Ears. Also pretty subtle. I could probably go further on the ears. Oh, we got 714. I'm gonna wrap it up in a minute. We are gonna finish this guy up. And I'm gonna make some dinner. Woo! Not that I'm really hungry. Not yet. But I will be eventually. about that one piece of dynamite but it's okay what if he does need a blink all my other ones have had blinks and I kind of like that okay we're gonna add a blink last thing we're gonna do Alright, I'll go the wrong way with it. 
open to close, close to open. weird. Cool. Just make his pupils shrink them. Just needs a something. He needs something. Some little detail in the eyes to give a little more life. Alright, I'm okay with that. That's something. Cool. Anyway, there it is. Um, Hour and 17, we got a little froggy fish guy drawn, split up for animation, rigged and animated, uh, all in hour and 17 minutes. So there you go. That's how you do a thing. Thank you for your long attention. It's been fun. It's always a good time. I like doing the streams a lot. Maybe just, where's my guy? See if I can just pop his head here. Maybe that's a little better. Yeah, kind of like that more. Yeah. There it is. Uh, anyway, yep. Thanks for coming to this stream. Nice to see all y'all. And have a good rest of your evening or wherever you are. Maybe it's not evening where you are. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this was a fun one. I quite like him. I was looking forward to doing a little demolition frog guy. And yep, okay. Maybe tomorrow I'll stream again. We'll see how much work and stuff I've got. See ya.